Hola, hola, hola. Hello, 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 my beautiful planner babes. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela, the planning diva. Thank you so much for stopping by and spending some time with me here today. I really appreciate it. Today, I'm going to be working in my creative journal. This is my big happy planner, the Tanya Garcia Bright Travels Vertical Happy Planner. I use this as my scrapbook, my creative journal, my memory keeper, my diary, um, my planner, call it what you will. And we're going to be setting up a spread for the week of November. I am a couple weeks behind at this point, but that's okay because like I said, this is my journal more so than it's a planner. And so I'm not too stressed about um, keeping up with these spreads. So we're going to be setting up November 6th to the 12th, and I'm excited to set this spread up. I do remember this week pretty well, I would say. Um, we did come back from Oaxaca. We were on our family vacation in Oaxaca, Mexico this week, and we were there Monday and Tuesday. We flew out Tuesday night. We got back on the 8th. I had work on the 8th and the 9th, and then Friday, we actually took the day off. We had the day off because it was Veterans Day on the 11th, so we had Friday off. We went camping with Steven, Steven's dad, Steven's childhood friend's dad as well. We liked going camping together. Um, we came back, and then we had a friend's birthday party on Saturday night, and then another friend's birthday party on Sunday afternoon. So that was what went down this week super super busy week um it was just like a whirlwind coming back from mexico like going back to work and then having so many social things happening immediately that weekend but it was very fun this is how i love to live my life i love having a very full and an experience filled life um that's just how i love to live my life so for this spread, I thought at first that I was going to do like a little bit of a hodgepodge spread and do Dia de los Muertos on this half of the page and then something else on the other half of the page because there are still a lot of stickers that I would like to use for Dia de los Muertos. But now that I'm thinking about it, I think what I might end up doing instead is using a lot of these stickers um, for like memory keeping pages at the end of the month. I might stick in some pages like here at the end of the month on the currently page on the currently page um before we get into december of just events um that happened in oaxaca family pictures i do want to print out some of the pictures that we took during oaxaca so i might go ahead and do that so yeah let's let's put this away for now these are all of my dia de los muertos stickers and let's pull for something new so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a combination of two sticker books Homebody Seasons and Fall Harvest. And then I have just regular Homebody as well that I might pull for some of these stickers just to complement the ones in Homebody Seasons because I want to use the fall stickers here in Homebody Seasons and I really don't have that many left. So I think I might have to pull in some of um, just the regular Homebody stickers to, to really complete the spread but I also am going to pull in some of the fall harvest stickers as well because I think these also complement the home body sees uh the home body season stickers so let's get into it and also I'm a little bit tempted to use seasonal flowers this is a relatively recent sticker book that I got I picked up um I think at Michael's so let's see let's look at the fall floral arrangements here um, so I think these are still summer. I think these are the fall ones right here. Yes, these are the fall ones. Oh, these are for sure the fall ones. Beautiful. This is beautiful. This might be a little too dark to combine with homebody, but yeah, I might, I might not pull for this. I think they're a little dark. Homebody is a very light and ethereal feeling sticker book to me. So let's definitely think about this. Well, first off, let me take these pages off the discs because I have a feeling that I'm going to want to do that. Oh, okay, there we go. Pull this on. Pull this to the side. Okay, okay, here we go. Oh, what did I do? Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay. One of the reasons why I wanted to do that is because I'm thinking of using the Homebody Seasons fall leaves here at the top of the page. 
and I might mix them with some of these uh, florals from the fall harvest. I might pull for some of those. So let's do that. Let's, um, or should I do it at the bottom of the page to be like a leaf pile? <sighs> decisions, decisions. Let's do it at the top of the page. Let's go with our gut. Okay, so I'll probably just fast forward this and come back when this is done. Okay, we're off to a lovely start here. Okay, and let's start off with the Home Body Season sticker book. I am trying to finish this next year. This is one of the sticker books on my list of books to finish in 2024. I always try to pick out some sticker books and try to focus on finishing those. And I feel like I have a good shot with this one because I've used up a lot of it already. So I'm going to pull for stickers here. I'm going to use this family time sticker because again, we were on family vacation on Monday through Tuesday. And then let me pull for some boxes. I might have some boxes in this fall essentials or fall harvest sticker book. If I don't have any boxes, I'm going to have to pull them from Mojo Jojo plans. Okay, we have these here. Let's pull for this. Ooh, here are some full boxes. I'll put one here. I kind of want to use these pie boxes for the actual Thanksgiving week, so I might skip on those. Let me pull for this today sticker and then put this here. That's cute. But yes, I think I'm going to have to pull for Mojo Jojo plans. I really need to start making my own journaling boxes because I am running out of these journaling boxes, the brown ones in particular. So let's pull for some of these boxes. I'm going to put this down here. Yeah, I'll put this right here. And then maybe I can fill something in between those two boxes. One of these little pumpkins. Today is a great day. That's so cute. Okay, let's grab this full box right here. Let's put this right here. And then let's grab these boxes as well. This one right here. And then this one maybe layered on it like so. And then let's put down some more boxes. Let's see. I'm going to put some boxes down for Friday because that's when we went camping. And then we also had a lot going on on Saturday, so I'll put a box right here. And then lastly, I'll put another box on Sunday, but I'm thinking of doing a little floral cluster here in this corner and covering up mini. So let's find some florals. I saw some really lovely ones in fall harvest. Let's pull out this book like these right here. Okay, I think that's good. So now let's put some more boxes up here. Okay. Let's pull for some of these arched boxes or window boxes. Put one right here. I tend to use a lot of these lined boxes for Mojo Jojo plans because I do like to write a lot. And so I, I've I would love to make my own version of these because I also find that I want them to be a little bit wider, particularly for the big size happy planner. All right, so let's just keep on adding boxes here. I'm going to add this other box, I think, right here, just a little bit higher. Like so, okay, there we go some layered quarter boxes on top of some of these boxes. I think that would be nice, like so. Oh my gosh, I just have two more of these quarter boxes left on this page, so I kind of just want to use these up. Let's see where we can sneak them into here. Maybe up here, or maybe like right here, and then another one over here, like that. And then I'll just go ahead and put some smaller boxes right underneath those. Like so. That way I can use 
these little boxes as one label and then maybe a little bit more of a description in these larger boxes. For example, in Fall Harvest, there is that page of like cursive script stickers. Yes, this right here. So for example, I could grab this celebrate sticker and plop it right here because this was a friend's birthday party. And then same for Sunday because we had another birthday party. Let's see, let's put this right here. That ah, has a little crooked. And then we'll put this little weekend plan sticker maybe like right here. And then I'll put this important sticker right there. Okay, now let's get to my favorite part, which is decorating with the decorative stickers. And let's get back into home body seasons. Now I'm just going to place as many decorative stickers from this book as I can. Again, I want to finish the sticker book. So let's get to it. Oh, and before I get into that, though, I do want to use a little bit of washi tape. This is my super cute coffee washi tape. It's adorable. Let's go ahead and place some of that here. I feel like this is very home body to me. Although I kind of regret not putting this washi tape lower. Let's see if I can peel it up. Oh, perfect. It comes off pretty okay. Let's put this down here. Perfect. Okay, I put all the pumpkins on the page. It looks so cute. So I finished up this entire page here. All right. And then I can use this sticker for sure. This wake up and be kind sticker. I could put it right here. Perfect. And then I have three bullet points um, or checklists here. I don't think I'm going to use this in this spread. I don't really tend to use bullet points or checklists in my creative journal. So I what I think I'm going to do with these is I'm going to grab them and put them into my sticker storage book. So I have this massive, um, I think it's Capital Chic Designs sticker storage book. And I like using this um, for times like these where I only have like a few stickers left on a page. And I like to transfer them into the sticker storage book. And then that way I can just bring the sticker storage book whenever I just want like a massive amount of stickers, um, all types of stickers. And yeah, I just really like this book. So I'll put this on... I'll put these in my um, checklist page here. Oops, there we go. I really, really like this book. It's, it's a fantastic book. Okay, let's put that away for now. Then I have a couple of quotes here. I bet I can use all of these. So let me sneak these on the page somewhere. And I used up that entire page as well. And then all I've left are these leaves and these quotes. I don't think I'll be able to fit all of these quotes onto this page or the spread. Maybe I can do a good amount of these leaves. We'll see. Let's get to it. Okay, so there are all the leaves, and I actually really like how it turned out. And I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make another like uh, leaf cluster over here, similar to how I made it over here on this side. So let's grab some more uh, floral clusters from Fall Harvest. It's really coming together. I love how soft and homebody it is very light and airy definitely a departure from like the color explosion from the last week so it's kind of like a nice palette cleanser okay i think i am done with homebody seasons so i did a good job i cleared up a lot of pages here so this was the fall section of homebody seasons so i had finished this page already i finished the last couple of stickers on this page, same with this page. I grabbed those checklists, put them in my sticker storage book. I finished that page. I have two quotes left on here, but I finished all of the leaves. So what I'm going to do is same with the checklists. I'm going to grab um, those quotes and I'm going to place them into my sticker storage book. I do try to loosely organize this book, but it can be a bit chaotic. Like this was supposed to be my fall section. So I'll try to put my fall stickers here. But as you can see, not all of these stickers are fall related. Like I didn't have room for this except here. Same with these Disney stickers, same with these astrology stickers. And so I just plopped them on this page. So let me try to find room for this quote sticker. I think, yes, we can fit that there. So let's put that away. Okay. This is done. 
I actually didn't end up using the homebody sticker book so far. I might not use it actually. I might just put this away for some other time. There were actually quite a bit of stickers left in that homebody season sticker book. Enough that there was a cohesive theme of homebody going on. I also think that this fall harvest sticker book really complements um, the homebody seasons. Oh, here's a little box that we can use. Let's put that up there. Oh, I have another box here. I could use this. Let's see, where can I put this? Maybe up here. Just squeeze it there. Let's add some pumpkin stickers right here. I still refuse to let go of the pumpkins. Okay, I really want to use some of these like uh, sweater weather stickers. So let's go ahead and pop some of those down. Okay, so there are all of these sweater weather stickers. Um, I want to fill up this space with something. So let me look for a sticker. Maybe I'll just go with this sweater weather sticker. Some mittens over here. A little sweater over here. Okay, and I think the last thing that I want to do is add some stickers going up and down the spine here with some of these florals and leaves. I think that would be really pretty. So let's go ahead and do that. And I think I'm going to do the same on the other side here. Okay, so there we have both of the sides filled up with flowers and leaves. I think it looks really, really pretty. I'm very happy with this right now. I think we're reaching the point where I'm going to start journaling soon. I just want to add a couple of more like florals in between the boxes here. I feel like when you use classic sized boxes in a big planner, there's a lot of space in between the boxes. And I like filling it up with little leaves and um, flowers and just little, little stickers. And I'm thinking of leaving this space open for journaling as well. Okay, I officially cannot add any more stickers to this page. It is at sticker capacity, but I love how it turned out. There's a lot of foil on this page. It's very soft, very clean, but still very busy. Okay, so I'm going to punch out the holes and then I'm going to journal and then we will be done with this week. Okay, so my camera actually cut off in the middle of writing, so this is going to be a little bit um, not super synced, but here it goes. This week was very, very busy. Monday, we had this huge tour. Um, we were still in Oaxaca. It was our last full day there. We went to a state park called Yerualawa, and then we went to a traditional Zapotec weaving workshop. It was amazing. We stopped by to see one of the world's largest trees on our way back, and then we ended with this magical dinner at a fantastic restaurant tuesday was our travel back day my brother's flight actually got canceled so he had to wait an extra day to head back home but my sister and her wife ended up leaving around 10 in the morning and then our flight um steven my mom and myself we actually had a very late flight we were supposed to leave at 9 30 p.m but we actually left at around 11 30 p.m so we spent the whole day in oaxaca dropped our bags off at like a baggage check and then we just shopped around ate and finally headed to the airport we didn't get home until one or two in the morning on wednesday and then i was back to work wednesday and thursday super groggy i definitely had vacation brain for those two days and then thankfully friday we head off because of veterans day we went camping with steven and his dad and his um childhood friend's dad and then saturday and sunday we had birthday parties so it was a busy week for us okay so my camera cut off i think i was up to here and then the camera cut off and so everything else is lost to this universe if i didn't film it it didn't happen but no i finished journaling and i think it looks great i love how a spread looks when it's completely filled with writing there was a lot going on this week so it was very easy to journal when there's a lot going on it's so much easier to journal otherwise i'm just like staring at the paper not sure what I should be writing. I even did a little um, journaling prompt over here. 
I had this extra space up in the sidebar and I just felt like I wanted to journal a little bit. So I just journaled about, you know, reflecting on how busy this week was and how I am so grateful to have a life where I'm able to be part of such oops i need to punch this hole i'm so grateful to have a life that is so filled with wonder and joy and friends and happiness i'm very very grateful okay let's put this back on the discs and this is the finished spread i think it looks so cute so cozy i am in love with it i'm very happy actually that i decided to go with a different theme um and i decided to do something that was cohesive instead of hodgepodgey. Okay, I definitely feel like I'm starting to slowly catch up on my spreads. Next uh, next video I'm going to film is November 13th through the 19th, and then we'll have the Thanksgiving week, and then the first week of December, which was last week, and then we'll do the monthly, and then we'll be on the current week. So I have a monthly left, and then one to three more weeks to do but i believe in myself and i think this week we're just gonna go with i think i'm gonna go with woodland seasons for this week and then next week it will be thanksgiving and then this will be the first maybe fall into winter spread i might do one last fall spread honestly and then december i'll really start to get into my winter wonderland spreads and my christmas spreads so i'm excited about that okay everyone thank you so much for checking out this video i really appreciate it please let me know how you are doing in the comments down below i would love to know also please let me know where you're watching where are you i love to know where you all are located it gives me an idea of who's watching. So please let me know where you're from. And with that, I hope to see you in my next video. So until then, stay safe. God bless you and your family. Have a wonderful rest of your week. And I will see you tomorrow. Adios.